y'all it's Betsy with happily ever after etc and I am back with another garden project so today I'm going to start maybe finish I highly doubt it the process of finally laying out landscape fabric and mulching the area in front of the shed so in front of the shed in between the raised beds down to the right where the piggy martin rose is all the way up to where y'all are so ideally ideally we have our pea gravel path here that goes around the tree and takes you down towards uh the house and it goes this way towards the house the pea gravel path is going to come down swoop around this corner everything on my right under the plants everything around the beds inside the beds will all be mulch so I'm going to have a little border that goes here to keep the pea gravel and the mulch separate, same as on this side. And we'll have a small border down around the dusty miller to keep the mulch there away from the pea gravel, just around these beds. The rest of them on the left uh, butt up to grass, and I don't really walk over there, so we're just going to do the mulch next to the grass. If it gets kicked all around and blown all around and a huge problem, then we'll add more edging over there if it becomes a problem. But in order to start putting it down, the landscape fabric, some of this pea gravel path has to come up because I really want one big strip of landscape fabric to go right from y'all all the way down to the shed doors. And this part of the pea gravel path is the worst for weeds because it's right under this tree and it drops just baby trees all day long and I am constantly out here with my hands and knees reading this part of the path. If I had known then what I know now, I would have put landscape fabric under all the pea gravel, but I didn't know then what I know now and I didn't do that. So I'm going to start by pulling up pea gravel right here, just connecting to this path. There is cardboard down under everything inside the beds and all the way up to here everything here will move except the plants so the two topiaries and the bench which i need to clean will move i actually bought pavers i'm going to dig pavers under those and then put the landscape fabric down and then the mulch will go under those so we can stop weeding under there i'll have to cut the landscape fabric around all my plants but that's okay uh, and then mulch will go on top so we're gonna get started taking out the pea gravel. I do have a couple boxes, uh, cardboard boxes left that we can put on top of some areas that the boxes have kind of disintegrated if need be. And then the cardboard suppresses the weeds and the landscape fabric suppresses the weeds. So we'll have a double layer, we'll mulch on top. So I'm gonna get started, like I said, with the pea gravel. We'll see how, how much of that we get to. I'm not necessarily planning to um, do all the way to the garden today because that's going to take a while. I'm just going to do up the path and we'll see how long it takes. And then down in front of the, what I call the grill spot, the spot of my house where the climbing rose and the swallowtail butterfly garden are, is a spot where you're supposed to have a barbecue grill. I have flowers. Um, I'm going to take up all that pea gravel and put edging of bricks because from that point on, it will all be mulch. So if you get this part of the path done, I'm gonna go start down there. My mom gets off work at 3.30. And so we have sun till about seven right now. She's gonna come over and help me put the landscape fabric around all the dusty miller, all the plants that you have to meticulously cut and surround the plants with. So I'm gonna try to get as much of the pea gravel up as possible. That way when she comes, we can start laying the fabric around the plants. She can help me stake it in. I have landscape staple and um, we'll just go from there. See how far we get in a day. My brother is coming to help me compost and mulch the garden on Saturday. Today's Tuesday. So if I can get this landscape fabric down by Saturday, he can help me spread the mulch here as well as in the garden. So. 
got four days. I think we can get it done. Let's get started. I have it swoop here, swoop in, swoop out, swoop in right in front of the bench so it's not that far to get in. And then it goes straight down to the garden beds. And then this side swoops out, swoops in, swoops around the corner, swoops in, and then meets that corner. The only thing I'm not sure about is, you know, the straight here and the swoops here. But if I make this swoop in, I have to fill that much more with pea gravel on this side, which I don't really want to do. 
I also have that much left of the first roll. I definitely didn't need the second one. Um, so, I mean, I could do behind to keep the mulch in, but like this is the main place that the leaves fall. So I'm already gonna have to blow all the leaves down through here and out there. I don't really want to have to get them out of here over an edge necessarily. I don't want to lose the mulch either. What do you think? All right, so you can see a few changes. You can also see that we are not 100% done. Still have to put the pea gravel back on this path, but I want to landscape fabric this row as well. This tree drops the worst weeds anywhere in my path. So putting landscape fabric here, we did the whole, if you watch the mulch in front of the shed video, we landscape fabrics under all of this mulch. The raised beds. This is the best they've ever looked. And I just put fresh uh, dirt, potting soil and compost in them last week. I think I need a few more bags to really top these up. So I'm gonna get those this afternoon. And then all of these milk jugs where I'm growing seeds need to be planted out. But regardless of what is in this area, this is definitely the best it has ever looked. I am loving the mulch. I was really unsure of the mulch next to the pea gravel, but now that it's done, I think it looks fabulous. Thank you so much for watching this whole video. I know that mulch isn't a super exciting thing and that landscape fabric isn't for everywhere. It works great for things like paths, places where you don't want to grow things. And I am I'm so excited to have this area done so that I can start focusing on more exciting spots. Bye, y'all.